A state lawmaker known for fighting against drunk driving was just convicted of that very crime. Monica Youngblood was arrested back in May after getting stopped at a DWI checkpoint. News 13's Jackie Kent was there as the three-term Republican tried to argue her case. Youngblood claims she wasn't driving drunk when she was stopped at a DWI checkpoint, but after her guilty verdict today, she said she regrets what happened. Her demeanor strikes me as somebody who either didn't understand the gravity of the situation or whose mental faculties were somewhat impaired. Judge Kevin Fitzwater today found Youngblood guilty of aggravated DWI. She had refused to take a breathalyzer test at an APD DWI checkpoint back in May. In her DWI trial today, the defense argued the roadblock itself on Paseo on the west side was unconstitutional and that APD had no probable cause to arrest her, claiming there's no proof she was drunk when they asked to give her field sobriety tests and that the test results weren't enough to convict her. She did pretty well on those field sobriety tests, considering the conditions, considering the boots, um, and considering the situation of context. She was booked for aggravated DWI after refusing the breathalyzer test, which is the law. Police officers noted she had bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and smelled like alcohol. Ultimately, the judge ruled there was enough evidence to show she was impaired and that the checkpoint was constitutional. She faces up to 90 days in jail. Her sentencing is set for next week. Jackie Kent, KRQE News 13. The West Side Rep is running for re-election against Democrat Karen Bash in November. And earlier this year, Youngblood voted for a bill that would allow police to get warrants for the BAC levels of suspected drunk drivers who won't take a breathalyzer test. That bill died in the Senate. Right now, blood can only be drawn if a suspected drunk driver hurts or kills someone. 